really proud of the kids. That was a heck of a second game there. Um, Peyton and, and Brady came out of that bullpen and picked Joe up. Joe pitched his tail off, gave us uh, seven outstanding, well-pitched innings. And then uh, some clutch relief pitching late was obviously huge and being able to, to, to end that thing in nine innings and not have to stick around and do a little extra. But uh, Brady's strikeout was big in the eighth. Um, Peyton came in, got the final out. John Littell's play on the, you know, the opening batter of the ninth yeah. inning proved to be huge. A kid that hit the ball in the corner is a hell of an athlete, and he ran when he hit that ball. He took off running, and he was, he was moving. And uh, great baseball play on his end to get to third with one out, which put us in a position where, you know, we either concede the run and stay back and just try to win it in the bottom, or we try to, you know, pitch it tight and get out of there and make it harder for them to score and, and Peyton was up to task right there man he, he strikes out their three hole hitter and then uh, obviously strikes out the you know the big lefty there to end the game so um, I thought it was a really uh, outstanding performance by our relief pitchers uh, following up a very very good start in jail and the second game on offense we you know we, we fought and, and scratched and you know got enough done we weren't great but we were in position a few times I thought we had Maybe better at bats than the scoreboard showed, but um, we'll take it. Double header sweep, not easy to do. A lot of baseball in one day. And then, uh, you know, going back to the first game, probably played about as, as good as you can hope your team would play as a coach. Whew. I mean, you know, that's, um, if not for a really stiff east easterly breeze there coming from the east across, he would have had three homers. You know, he hit the, the crap out of that ball that hit the fence when he hit it we all thought that was definitely a home run and the wind just just zapped that ball but uh, he peppered the ball no doubt he peppered it and then uh, you know probably the story of the final home run was that it, uh, it created a run rule situation which kept us from having to play innings eight and nine and uh, Peyton Battenfield would have pitched innings eight and nine so in a roundabout way that homer not only ended that game but kept Peyton available to do what he did in game two. So just a huge day by Christian. Um, happy for him. He's put a lot of work in to, to get back from not one but two um, ACL surgeries on his knee. Which it's, a lot to, it's a lot for anybody. But uh, to be back at this level playing right at the 12-month mark, just a, it's an awesome thing for Christian. Obviously a great thing for our team. I know you guys don't look ahead that much, but after two wins today, how does it feel to be set in sole possession of first in the Big 12? Doesn't feel like anything um, because I wasn't thinking about it before, and I don't mean that to be like uh, not to answer your question. I just mean it because um, our goals are to try to get better every day. The minute you start looking at things like that and thinking about it, you will get steamrolled, put right on your back, and that's just the way sports are. You know what I mean? So um, focus on the things that you can do every day, which is show up ready, prepare like crazy, um, be positive as heck, uh, get your kids in the right frame of mind, and go compete your heart out. And then worry about doing it again the next day. And then at the end of the year, you know, then you might look back and reflect on those things. But in the meantime, while you're in the middle of it, you, you have to stay right in the moment as much as possible. Sometimes you are guilty of that, but um, there's still a lot of things in front of us that we need to be working towards and uh, proven upon. So don't look ahead much at all. Kind of thinking about what I'm going to eat tonight when I get home and maybe what I'm going to do with some spare time tomorrow, hang out with my kids and my wife a little bit or something.